new 2017 Kia Picant 2, pics, video, specs, and details. Official details revealed for new Kia Picant 2, city car will go on sale in May, after its public debut at the 2017 Geneva Motor Show. At the start of the year, Kia released the first pictures of its new Picanto City car. Now, we've been treated to an in-depth look at the Volkswagen UP. Rival at the Korean brand's European HQ in Frankfurt, Germany. The car is set to make its public debut at the Geneva Motor Show in a couple of weeks. The new Picanto boasts a range of new technology, as well as a bigger and more practical interior. Buyers will be offered a choice of three engines and two transmissions, including a Pepe 1.0-liter turbo for the first time. Bosses are describing the new Picanto as an innovative, bold, and fun-looking urban city car, giving Kia's smallest model a more assertive stance with bolder body lines. Its sharper look brings it in line with more recent additions to the range including the updated Rio and revised Sportage SUV. All Picantos gain 15mm in the wheelbase, extending the distance between the axles from 2385mm to 2400mm. Designers have also pushed the wheels out to the corners for a shorter front overhang, yielding a sportier look and a tighter turning circle. Until now, we'd only seen the new car in top spec GT line trim. Now however, we've been gifted a peek at one of the more modest Picantos, which are likely to comprise the bulk of sales back here in the UK. All cars will get Kia's trademark Tiger nose grille, a beefier front end and, from later in the summer, lead lighting tech. The maker will offer 11 paint options, including shades titled Limelight and Pop Orange. More restrained sparkling silver and Aurora Black also feature. Inside, there's a range of high-tech comfort, convenience, and safety features. As is the current trend, the cabin design is built around a 7-inch central touchscreen with Kia employing a floating design that protrudes from the top of the dash. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto both feature, alongside wireless phone charging and 3D mapping for the SAT NAV. Basic cars come with 14-inch steel wheels, though alloys are an option. Customization will be key to the Picanto's youthful appeal, with five optional interior color packs available from launch. GT line cars get red, silver, and black highlights all over, as well as chrome-tipped exhausts. There's more space inside, with the longer wheelbase translating to improved cabin comfort. In addition to this, the dashboard has been moved up by 15 mm, for greater knee and leg space up front, while in the rear there's enough space for taller adults on shorter journeys. The city car comes with a choice of either four or five seats, while handy touches like a central armrest with built-in storage give the Picanto a practical edge otherwise missing in this class. Those after outright practicality will be pleased to hear the new Kia Picanto offers best-in-class boot space of 255 liters, 55 liters more than before, with the rear seats in place. The rear seats fold with a 60 colon 40 split to uncover 1,010 liters again, the biggest in this segment. Handily, the boot floor can be raised or lowered depending on your requirements. Under the skin, engineers have made a series of modifications to the suspension and steering in an attempt at making the new Picanto more fun to drive. The anti-roll bars are 2% stiffer at the front and 5% stiffer at the rear, while the steering is 13% or quicker than before. The longer wheelbase is set to improve ride quality and stability, while torque vectoring is set to reduce understeer during harder cornering. Additional soundproofing throughout should improve refinement. Producing 9.8 bhp, the new three-cylinder turbo is the torqueiste and most powerful Picanto ever. It'll do 0 to 62 miles per hour in 10.1 seconds, and hit 112 miles per hour. Despite the added zip, bosses claim the 1.0 TGDI will offer high efficiency and low fuel consumption, though no numbers have been confirmed. It goes on sale towards the end of the year. 
From launch, however, there will be a choice of naturally aspirated 1.0 and 1.2 liter MPI engines, with the entry level 66 bhp 1.0 liter emitting 89 g slash km of CO2. A 5-speed manual is standard across the range, though the 1.2 liter car offers a 4-speed auto as an option. Exact prices and specs haven't been announced, but the new Picanto will likely cost from around £8,500 when it goes on sale in May. Factor in Kia's industry-leading 7-year-100,000 mile warranty and it should offer a competitive package against rivals such as the VW Up, Skoda Citigo, Hyundai i10 and Ford Ka Plus.